Hey, I'm Andy, Vankers VC, East Tennessee, out of Georgia and Australia as well. And this is the Cookie Melter. That's my little baby right here. Um, I used about 40 ounces of flake in this thing, and that's about two pounds of flake. Um, my first big flake job, uh, right now it's like dirty, I need to buff it out and wet sand it still, but we're getting there, it's getting close. And um, yeah, this is my attempt of something on the big scale, to put it this way. So I had a few vans, I uh, never did something this elaborate with the paint, so this is cool. Pretty stoked about it. And on the roof, that's uh, what's that called on the roof? It's a, it's just a, it's a bed liner. Uh, just put a bed liner on it. Um, I figured I want something durable on top. Like you know, right now I'm not really hauling anything on top of it, but you know how it sits in the sun for so long, especially when we use them like we do when we go camping and stuff. It's not in a garage the whole time, you know. So you want something durable. And um, I got a, um, oh, a little shore power right here. I can hook it up to watch TV, use the microwave. Um, I got a 5.3 LS motor in this, and uh, for you know durability, and you can go anywhere in this thing, and it's fast, and it cranks up. You don't never have to worry about the motor; just go. So that's a good thing right here. So um, it's a 1988. We got a 75 grill in it. Now, now I'm lying, it's actually a 73 grill in it. And um, just did a conversion not too long ago. Um, you know, it's always always nicer. The earlier it gets, it's always nicer. So, um, I'm gonna show you around, come on. I feel this is important to point out, that it's a sex utility vehicle. This is important. And so, of course, since it's a sex utility vehicle, you need to have big mirrors. <laughs> and here we go. Here's the inside. So it's obviously a lot of look. Like I went to town with this to make it as cool as I could with whatever I want in it. At the same time, I want it to be practical. So we have storage over there for the coolers. We have the bed in the back that converts into benches. So I can move that table back so you can sit back there and get drunk back there. You can sit out here and get drunk where you can pass out drunk in the bed. <laughs> and um, got a sunroof in the back there. Uh, a glued it shot because you can never, you can never get it, you know, waterproof. Sorry, glued it shot, but I got the light and that's the most important part, so. Um, Are those your actual your back windows or is that just lights? That's the back windows. Well, from the outside, they're square. Uh, they're just uh, they're just the panels on the inside. So I got lights in them. So at night, they they, they glow red. And um, just got to actually got the seats. This upholstery done. Uh, so my buddy Oren, he does really good work. I, I mean, he's he's doing all my stuff. I build choppers and hot rods too, and he does all my upholstery stuff. And uh, I can just tell him what to do and it comes back like it's like it's out of my head, like out of my imagination. It's really good to do, you know, exactly how how I imagine it. So Yeah, so I decided to do uh that overhead console. So uh you know, did a little quick trip to Lowe's, got some wood and measured it up and put it together and there we go, I got some old Jeep hood latches on the side there so you can drop it down to get all the wiring. It makes it easy, just on the hinges on the front. It makes it super easy to get to everything, you know. I got speakers up there. I got that iron cross mirror right there. I got that from a friend. That's actually, was originally in packaging from the 70s. And a buddy of mine had it and he said, that's gonna look great in your van. And put in new gauges. Um, a candy flaked the bezel. You can't really see it when it's not sun, but it's a candy flake that. And uh, I got the steering wheel from Ron. Ron's steering wheels. He's amazing. He does all the custom work. I, I got several steering wheels from from his shop uh, on the different vehicles that I have. He's just doing such a good job, man. That little tr lunch tray right there is actually 
out of a back seat of a Jaguar. And that's pretty neat. Um, stereo? Stereo, um, I just wanted something where I could use as a backup camera since I'm like, I, I got it all, you know, blocked off in the back. I wanted a backup camera with GPS and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, if I would just use this, go to shows or not, I would just put like an old A track in it or something. Something that looks cool, but I wanted something that I could use if I go coast to coast, you know what I mean? And, um, and here, of course, um, steering wheel is upside down. It looks kind of cool, but uh, it's not supposed to be this way. It's just how it parked. But, uh, so here again, here's the gauges. Um, you know, I dyed them down, like dyed these parts and, you know, metal flaked and candied this to fit uh, the paint on the outside. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and who doesn't like a set of boobies? And uh, these here actually came out of um, well, different colors, but they actually came out of a uh, 72 camper. Oh. And uh, I just took them out, you know, cleaned them up, dyed them to match the, the rest of the van. And this came out of a 75 door. Um, you know, you just find stuff here and there and you make it all fit together and oh. like, you know, kind of you know, complement each other. A little, a little kingy thingy right here it's all the small things that makes it makes it what it is you know what i mean so um, so yeah so i decided to put in the gold wing um and i tell you man i got this kit and uh, it's the coolest thing it's just air shocks and hinges that's it but uh it's just so such a simple thing the trick is to get it in right and uh i don't know how or how it happened but just put a step ladder on Pulled the sliding door up, I put it on top, tacked it in, closed it. I was like, hell man, it fits. And he's like, don't touch it. <laughs> it's done. So I was really lucky, but it's, it's perfect, man. It sits on one latch right here and that's it. It's just locked and go. Uh, I took the, it was a one piece window that I took out for uh, when I was painting it and I couldn't find a gasket to put it back in. So I went to have a 75 parts van so I went and took the pop out windows from that and put it in. I mean, I mean I'm glad I did. This is this is real cool. Uh, you don't see the gold wings very often with the pop outs in it. So uh, I was kind of forced to do it, but I'm glad I was. So. That's that's the story on this gold. Of course, in the back here, you can see up here I got a little stainless little ring right here that um, so I built choppers. I used them for for strap downs on the bikes. I put them on the front forks. So I thought it would be cool to put them up here so you can just pull, you know, a little top over there. It's practical, you know. And uh, turn the, the tail lights, turn them sideways. But, but it, I feel like it looks right on this with uh, everything going on, you know. Of course, got the, the louvers on and uh, these light up at night. You get the red stripes here from the inside. You get the round pentagram and um, it's kind of cool, like nighttime feel. Uh, and of course, you sit on a happy face. Right up for you. Yeah, let me start up. Yeah. See if I can't get it started.